Welcome back. AI is about to get an ethical makeover. Antworks is launching Anstein Square. The next generation AI ensures banks and hospitals don't have any errors when they process your paperwork. And better yet, it even will improve productivity as well. And with me today, uh, the CEO and co-founder of Antworks, Ashmira. Welcome. Thank you, Jane. So Pleasure to be here. Give me an overall view of Antworks, and then let's talk a little bit about what exactly it is your company is doing. Sure, absolutely. <clears throat> so Antworks is an artificial intelligence and uh, intelligent automation product and services company. Uh, what we do really, Jane, is uh, we bring uh, new age technologies uh, to bear for the business and bundle it together into one platform rather than enterprises and organizations having to go to multiple different service providers. We've built these proprietary algorithms for the back office of the enterprise using a fundamentally different science called fractal science as against uh, neural science, what the world is used to using uh, from a technology perspective. Okay, now, so I have to ask about the name, Antworks. Where did that come from? <clears throat> I've always been very, very passionate uh, about the characteristics of ants since I was a child. Huh. And uh, when you look at the characteristics mm -hmm. of ants, uh, ants can carry 50 times their own body weight. Mm -hmm. uh, ants can, can build structures uh, a million times larger than themselves. They're very disciplined. They work in teams. They follow their leader. Mm -hmm. So when you look at all the characteristics of ants, uh, for me, when I decided to found Antworks with my co-founder, Govind Sandhu, uh, it was a no-brainer for me. There are some industries, companies, so forth, that you favor, and others that you won't do business with. So can you explain what the distinction is there? Jane, from, uh, from our perspective, when we, when we start working uh, with enterprises and organizations globally, uh, we look at ethics through three different lenses. Uh, the first lens is, uh, is the technology, are the AI algorithms being used for malicious intent? <clears throat> we have a very, very strong deal qualification criteria uh, before we go and start working with an organization. So that's one lens. The second lens that we look at um, AI from is, are the algorithms, is the software uh, ethically transparent? Uh, can it be held accountable? Uh, is it uh, auditable? And the third piece, which is very close to my heart from an ethics perspective is uh, looking at what kind of carbon footprint are we leaving behind? So give me some examples of companies that you mentioned um, you know, malicious intent. And I know there's a lot of debate about artificial intelligence and where it's headed and can it be used for kinds of nefarious purposes and Absolutely. so forth. I mean, what, um, what would be your distinction there? Are there any companies or industries that you would say, no, we're not going to be involved? <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> absolutely. We've, uh, we've had uh, a few uh, organizations approach us. And, and let me take uh, an example right in your backyard right here. Uh, Broadway, mm. right? Uh, a show opens and tickets need to be bought. And a robot is going and just buying every single ticket uh, so that agents can resell them at much higher prices. Mm. Now let's look at a few other examples. Let's look at uh, examples uh, in the insurance space. Uh, where there are some insurance agents that position themselves as the organization and want to make sure that they're able to sell the insurance at a much higher cost by using AI algorithms, by using robots. Uh, and again, so we go through a very, very stringent deal qualification process before we share uh, or decide to work with an organization. So what are companies you are working with and how could a consumer benefit from your work with these industries? So uh, we cut across multiple industry segments. So whether it's banking, whether it's insurance, whether it's mortgage, whether it's retail, telecom. And how we're working with organizations is we're bringing together a bouquet of technologies that is required to help the enterprise process the business process in their back office straight through. Mm. Uh, so rather than uh, you know, them using five or seven different kinds of technologies that need to talk to each other to deliver a business process, they use the Antworks Einstein Square platform <clears throat> that helps them deliver the process seamlessly. Yeah, so you've integrated all those, all that technology, right, into the Einstein. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and we, we haven't borrowed uh, or we haven't bought, we have built this technology ourselves ground up. While the whole world was focused on what they called RPA, which is Robotics Process Automation, uh, Jane, what we did was we focused on data. 
I own a mortgage company, for example, um, your technology will allow me to process someone's loan quicker, the title, uh, I'll ha it'll be more accurate. I mean, is that basically what you're offering? That absolutely. Uh -huh. it's, it's about making sure that we can reduce uh, time to customer and time to market. Okay. Uh, so when um, an enterprise uses the Einstein Square platform from Antworks, uh, what they benefit is it's a one-stop shop. Uh, to get a bouquet of technologies to be able to deliver that business process which reduces your cost of goods sold. So it's not only helping uh, increase bottom lines for the enterprise, it's also helping reduce the cost to their customer or their consumer. Well, any other kind of things that you're foreseeing for the rest of 2019? So our goal is, <clears throat> is really to continue to stay ahead of the marketplace from a technology perspective. Uh, our goal is to continue to be able to provide value to our customers from a business case perspective. Thank you so much, Ash, for coming. Thank you, Jane. And sharing this story. And Pleasure. thank you as well for joining us. We'll be right back.